Ever wondered why some nights you fall asleep the moment your head hits the pillow, while other nights you toss and turn for hours? It might not be just about how tired you are, but rather how you prepare for sleep. A consistent and relaxing bedtime routine can be the key to unlocking a restful night and improving your overall health. So if you're frequently counting sheep or staring at the ceiling, maybe it's time to examine your bedtime routine. Sleep isn't just a passive state of rest. It's a complex, active process regulated by our bodies and brains. It's fascinating to delve into the science behind sleep, which reveals how our bodies cycle through different stages, each with unique restorative functions. In essence, sleep is controlled by two main factors, our internal biological clock, also known as the circadian rhythm, and sleep-inducing chemicals like melatonin. The circadian rhythm is a 24-hour cycle that governs our sleep-wake schedule, while melatonin is a hormone that helps usher us into sleep. Our exposure to light, especially the blue light emitted by screens, can have a significant impact on these processes. Light exposure can delay the release of melatonin and disrupt our circadian rhythms, making it harder for us to fall asleep and stay asleep. Here's where the magic of a bedtime routine comes in. By establishing a consistent routine that may include dimming the lights, reducing screen time, and engaging in calming activities, we can help regulate our internal clock and enhance the production of sleep-friendly hormones. This not only aids in falling asleep, but also in achieving high-quality sleep, characterized by sufficient durations of the deepest, most restorative sleep stages. Understanding the science of sleep can help you make informed decisions about your bedtime routine. The beauty of sleep lies not only in the rest it provides, but also in the intricate mechanisms that make it possible. The first step to a better bedtime routine is consistency. Imagine your body as an intricate piece of machinery, one that thrives on routine. By going to bed and waking up at the same times each day, you help set your body's internal clock, a biological rhythm that regulates sleep and wakefulness. This rhythm, known as the circadian rhythm, influences your sleep quality and duration. When you maintain a consistent sleep schedule, your circadian rhythm stays synchronized with your daily activities, making it easier to fall asleep at night and wake up in the morning. This holds true even on weekends when the temptation to sleep in or stay up late can be strong. Disrupting this rhythm can lead to sleep problems, such as insomnia or excessive daytime sleepiness. So whether you're an early bird or a night owl, find a sleep schedule that works for you and stick to it. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to sleep. The second step is to create a relaxing pre-bedtime ritual. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is a pre-bedtime ritual? Well, it's a series of calming actions you take each night before you retire to bed. This ritual serves as a signal to your body, whispering gently that it's time to wind down, relax, and prepare for sleep. There are countless ways to design your own pre-bedtime ritual. Some people find solace in the quiet, immersive world of a good book. Reading allows your mind to shift focus from the day's worries and takes you on a journey to a different realm, easing you into a tranquil state of mind. Others may find meditation to be a powerful tool. By focusing your attention and eliminating the stream of jumbled thoughts crowding your mind, meditation can help you achieve a state of deep peace and relaxation, just what you need before a restful night's sleep. Then there are those who swear by the soothing effects of a warm bath, the heat can help relax your muscles, and the quiet time can serve as a great opportunity to reflect on your day or simply let your mind wander. Remember, there are no hard and fast rules here. The goal is to find an activity that helps you unwind and signals to your body that it's time to sleep. Experiment with different rituals, find one that resonates with you and make it a part of your nightly routine. Find a pre-bedtime ritual that works for you and stick to it. The third step is to create a sleep-friendly environment. Your bedroom should be a sanctuary, a haven designed for rest and relaxation. And yet, so many of us neglect the importance of our environment when it comes to getting a good night's sleep. The key to a sleep-friendly environment lies in three fundamental factors. Darkness, quiet, and coolness. Each of these elements plays a pivotal role in signaling to our bodies that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. Let's start with darkness. Our bodies are naturally attuned to the cycle of day and night. When darkness falls, our brain releases the hormone melatonin, which helps us feel sleepy. To mimic this natural process, consider investing in blackout curtains or a sleep mask. These can effectively block out any intrusive light. 
helping to create a night-like environment even during the brightest of days. Next, we have quiet. The less noise, the better. If you live in a bustling city or have a noisy neighborhood, earplugs or a white noise machine can be a lifesaver. They can help drown out unwanted noise and create a peaceful, serene environment conducive to sleep. And finally, the temperature. Research suggests the optimal temperature for sleep is between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. This cooler temperature helps lower your body's core temperature, a necessary element for falling asleep. Your environment plays a critical role in your sleep quality. By focusing on these three elements, you can transform your bedroom into a sleep-friendly environment and pave the way for a better night's rest. The final step is to limit your exposure to screens before bed. You see, screens emit a type of blue light that can interfere with the production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates your sleep-wake cycle. When this cycle is disrupted, it can lead to difficulties falling asleep and staying asleep. The science is clear. The more you expose your eyes to screens before bed, the more likely you are to disrupt your sleep. So what can we do instead? Engage in activities that are not only relaxing, but also screen-free. Consider reading a physical book or maybe delve into the soothing world of music. These alternatives not only help to calm your mind, but also steer clear of the disruptive blue light. Remember, even the smallest changes in your routine can make a significant difference. So make a conscious effort to swap out screens for more sleep-friendly activities. Reducing screen time before bed can significantly improve your sleep. Improving your sleep isn't a one-night process, but with these steps, you're on your way to a better bedtime routine. Remember, consistency is key. Establish a regular sleep schedule, create a serene pre-bedtime ritual, and design a sleep-friendly environment. Don't forget to limit screen exposure before bed. These are simple yet powerful steps that can transform your nights into a haven of restful slumber. If you found this video helpful, please support our channel by subscribing. Sweet dreams. Craving more health and wellness tips? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Our channel offers a vast array of videos on various health topics, from nutrition and fitness to mental health and lifestyle changes. Our aim is to provide you with the knowledge you need to live a healthier, happier life. So why wait? Dive into our content and kickstart your wellness journey. Don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Your health journey begins here.